Hey there y'all, Ty here. It is Tuesday, so you know what that means. It is another episode of Let's Talk Tuesdays. This week I am joined by my special guest, actual real life Cinnabon iced coffee. So something really bad has happened, like really, really bad. <laughs> I dropped my phone in some water. And I'm not talking like, oh, the toilet or the bathtub. I'm talking about seven foot deep drainage ditch. And it was probably filled with at least a foot of water. And I mean, just bloop, 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 bloop. It just dropped right into it. I had a friend drop me off at my apartment. And I opened the door and I was like, oh, look, scary. You just, you know, parked on top of this drainage ditch. And I was like, haha. And I forgot my phone was in my lap. <sighs> and I went and I put one leg out. And the next thing you know, boom, 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 boom. The phone hit like the grate, the metal grate on top of the drainage ditch. And then I kind of like gasped and froze. And I was like, this isn't real life. This isn't really happening. And I thought like as soon as it hit it, it would just stop. But no, the holes are probably like this big in the drainage ditch grate and it just went bloop 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 and it fell right through it and I mean that was literally like my life falling into this drainage ditch. My stomach is still in knots and I am still like stressed out and my anxiety is just through the roof right now and I just <laughs> sucks even just talking about it and I literally just sat in my friend's car and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, what, I, uh, and it was, I just couldn't process anything in my mind, and it was just so awful, and it was like anxiety with fear, with just anger at my own stupidity for always forgetting that my phone is in my lap when I go to get out. I sat in my friend's car and just freaked out and I just couldn't process anything in my mind and I didn't know what to do and it really is just it's the most awful thing to feel helpless that's probably the best way I can sum up how I felt was helpless and I just didn't know what to do and it sounds so stupid because it's a phone it literally is just a little piece of metal and glass and yet it just it controls our lives so I used her phone and I called David's work and I got a hold of him and told him what happened. And uh, so afterwards, after I called him, he was like, well, we'll see what we can do when I get off. I went to the office, our apartment office, and I was just like, hey, um, is there any way you can help me? I'm not having that great a day. And she was like, yeah, sure, what? And I was like, well, I just dropped my phone into the drainage ditch outside. And so I brought her to the drainage ditch, and it's literally like in the middle of the drive the roundabout driveway and so they got maintenance to try to like use one of those pry gun things to like grab it out and his arm wasn't long enough and I was sitting there like oh my god like my phone is literally just sitting in this like foot of water for probably a good five to ten minutes I'm probably exaggerating but it was probably around five minutes and it's just sitting there and I can see it we can both just see it right there in the shallow water and I was just uh, and so he ended up actually prying the metal grate off of this strange ditch, God bless his soul. And finally he was able to grab down in there and get it. And so this is what is left of my phone. I literally ran up to my apartment and I put it, I first put it in the freezer because I couldn't find any rice. And then I probably opened about, I don't know, three boxes of rice aroni and just put all the rice in here and my phone is in here. Just chilling. I don't even know if this actually works. Everything is on that phone. And it's just, it's crazy how we live in a society that that's how, like, the phone just rules all of our lives. Everything that we ever have is just on the phone. And it's kind of sad because I didn't even know David's phone number. I had to call his work. It wasn't <laughs> that pleasant of an experience. Uh, I do have insurance on my phone, luckily. I did not think I still had that whenever I switched over to get my iPhone 6 because I actually have a payment plan and I haven't even finished paying off my iPhone 6. Hopefully we can replace it or get it fixed or something. I don't know and I'm just... <laughs> oh, David is FaceTiming me right now. 
hold on. I was just going to make this video about anxiety because I got my hair cut today and it's the first time I actually got my hair cut since I got that awful haircut back in December. So I thought I'd just ramble on and tell y'all about... I still just can't get over it. It's just kind of sad now. I hope we can do something with my phone. This is really depressing. <laughs> but I guess that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for just sitting here and listening to me complain about first world problems. But I mean, where would we be without our iPhones and or smartphones? I mean, if you have Android, that's cool too. If you like this weekly series, uh, let me know by leaving me a big thumbs up. Uh, have you ever dropped your phone in water or shattered it on the ground? If so, tell me your stories in the comments below. I mean, we could all just kind of have a little pity party. <laughs> and then it would make me feel so, so much better if you subscribe to me. So just go on ahead and hit that subscribe button, please. And until next time, stay rad and don't drop your phones in water. Bye. So right there, that is the gates of hell. That's where my phone fell. And that is some random lady walking. Hi, random lady.